Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you've got one of these, or one of these, with that connection, then this is USB-B. And if you've picked up something like this, then you'll know it comes with one of these. And this is USB type C. Now my Scarlett 2i2 second generation came with USB-B and that's the cable it came with, which is the USB-B to USB, so USB-A to USB-B. But I can't plug that in. So what I need to do is I need to get a dongle or I can use a multi-port adapter, which I've shown a couple on my channel before. But then we're in dongle city and you know how I feel about that. I don't like it. So I started to have a think and I thought, well, there must be a better solution to this. Now, if you're someone who has picked up a new computer from 2015 onwards, certainly for the laptops on Apple, it's all been USB-C. And then you look at this thing and you go, well, I can get an adapter and plug you in, or maybe I'll get a new one. Now, if you need to up the game in your audio interface for your bit rate going to 24, even 32 bit, or you need more inputs, that's totally fine. I totally get it. But if you're just looking to get this working again on your brand new computer, computer, it's quite simple, don't buy a dongle, I've found a better solution for you. Now the Apple dongle, which is USB-A to USB-C, is £19 here in the UK, but I found something which is better, easier, and less than half that price. Now it's great that there are some ports back on the 14-inch MacBook Pro, like the HDMI port, like the SD card reader, but there's no USB-A port, and that's fine because, let's face it, USB-A is, what, 15 years old? In terms of technology, it's ancient, but things like audio interfaces and MIDI keyboards and beyond have been using USB-B for years. In fact, the Autoria Keylab that I picked up still uses USB-B to USB-A. But this very camera that I got, the Sony ZV-E10, which I picked up only this year, comes with USB-C. But what if you just wanna use the audio interface you've got and just plug it into your new system? Well, the alternative option, other than getting a dongle or a multi-port adapter or anything like that, is actually to replace the cable. So I started to have a look around and guess what? I found this. This is a one meter threaded cable by Ugreen and it's USB-B, which is what we need for the back of the Focusrite and also the Keylab and it's USB-C. Now when you drill it down USB-2, which is the speed of the Focusrite 2i2, is 480 megabits per second. When you go to USB-3, it's 4.8 gigabits per second, which is 10 times the speed. But the audio interface isn't pushing anything faster than USB-2. So this cable is gonna be able to handle it no matter what you throw at it. The other thing I like about this is it's threaded, and that also means that it's a little bit tougher. Now, I haven't just bought this on Amazon and run to my camera, turned it on and said, hi, have a look at this. I have actually been using it, and I've been using it for over a week. We've been doing some recording with it, and also I've been using it with the keyboard. And I can tell you, it's a cable. It does its job. But the simplicity of this is so simple, we always walk down the wrong road. We kind of go, oh, I've got a new computer, that my audio interface doesn't work with it, so I need a dongle. And we've been kind of into using dongles forever. Why don't we just replace the cable? So that's exactly what I've done. And at the time of recording this, this cable costs seven pounds and 19 pence on Amazon. And yes, there's a link in the description box below. Now the good news is this is so reliable that I've actually ordered a second one and I'm waiting for that to arrive. That's a two meter version, so I can actually plug it in for the keyboard and I keep the audio interface plugged in as well. Because on the new Mac, I've got three. USB-C's. I'll put the link for that one in the description box as well. Now I said it earlier on and I'm going to say it again. If you're looking for a brand new interface, you need to up your audio level, you need more inputs, you want new features with your audio interface, that's fine. I totally get it. But what I'm trying to do here is if you've got a normal audio interface, you buy a brand new Mac, you drop a lot of money on it and you go, ah, I'm going to need a brand new audio interface or one of those dongles, stop buy this instead. There's no official JP seal of approval, but this is JP seal of approval to tell you that this does work. The funny thing is with the actual documentation from Ugreen, it actually says that it's a USB-C to USB printer cable, that's fine, but also it says braided MIDI DJ audio high lead speed compatible with all USB devices. So to confirm, this is a USB 2 device. This is USB B to USB C, but it is USB 2. So the maximum speed for this is 480 megabits per second. The other thing I quite like about it, and this is just a small thing, is the actual ends here are actually metal, which I quite like, and they've put a little bit of a bump there, so it's not just the cable with a sharp end, and you can pull it there without having to pull the cable. It might be a bit more 
robust and it looks a little bit like space gray so it looks like it's meant to go into your computer and just match the actual braid is a nylon braid and you green say that they do a 5,000 times bend test on the cable as well the other thing I found amusing is because they actually promote this as a printer cable solution the other section when it goes past all the printers is Yamaha digital piano as well as hard drives but I can confirm I've used it both with the Arturia Keylab 49 Mark II and of course the Focusrite 2i2 second gen and I've had no faults and no issues with it whatsoever. It's just a quick solution guys. I hope you found that useful. Don't go and buy a 19 pound dongle. Think about replacing the actual cable instead. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <gasps>